I'm Mike Sohigian. Uh, I'm the president of the Beverly Hills Bar Association, and I have with me Matsu. Yes, Tomokazu Matsuyama. That's my real name, but okay. some people, I guess, know me better as Matsu, which All is right. my artist name. And you are the artist uh, who created this mural, correct? Yes, with a team of painters. Yes. Right, who are using these uh, lifts to put your work on this wall, correct? Yes, well, they're 20 feet by 80 feet of a size. It's a pretty grand mural. How did you get this commission? So I got a call from this art curator and consultant that I've been working with over years who's based out here in the, in the West Coast in LA and he said he might have a project which my work might fit best and I heard the scope which was this temporary mural which will be up for a couple of years. Uh, it'll be probably commissioned by City of Beverly Hills. Also it has to also be approved by the Art City Council of Los Angeles um, and it went through. So. Can't be more happier. That's great, yeah. What was your your idea behind this particular design? Um, it's pretty vibrant, as you can see. It's very colorful. Um, the idea behind, I used to live in California, so I wanted to find a way to resonate my experience being here, which is the city is very humble. So I titled the piece Thousand Regards, um, bringing happiness, uh, bringing posit positivity. Um, and it's lots of bird. I kind of brought this uh, metaphor in traditional Asian painting where birds bring happiness. Um, but it's completely abstracted and I wanted to make a very abstracted graphical imagery. Right. Which would resonate. And you're based in New York, yeah. correct? I'm originally from Japan, um, but uh, I've been in New York for the past 17 years. And where else have you had artwork uh, shown? Uh, well, a lot of museums globally, but I'm more involved in public art these days just because I love to be involved more to the community. Museums are lovely as it's, it is, but sometimes it could be too much of a destination. When you get to work in a community, you really actually get to physically um, entail and collaborate together with what's what the landscape offers. Um, I've done something in New York and Soho, which I recently finished is in Bowery. Uh, it's called Bowery Mural, which is 20 feet by 60 feet mural. I have another public art project that's happening in Culver City. Um, more coming actually in Asia, in Tokyo. And this is 20 by 40, did you say? Yeah, this is 20, 20 feet tall by 80 feet wide. It's 80, so yeah. the 20 by 60 and the Bowery is yeah. a little smaller. A little smaller. This one. And it's interesting enough, this looks smaller because of the blue skies. I mean, New York is so cluttered. When things are cluttered, it looks larger, but this is much larger, actually. Yeah, and you, and you have a crew in uh, New York that you work with, correct? Yeah. So my studio practice is I have uh, numerous assistants because my paintings are very time consuming. A small painting in my studio, something like a foot by foot, um, like that size could take a month to finish. Um, so I have a whole team in New York and locally, but here it was too remote to bring everybody out here. So I start researching who's the best painter that I could collaborate, and it was these guys. It's right here at the corner of Cannon uh, and Wilshire Boulevard, across the street from the headquarters of the Beverly Hills Bar Association. So come and take a look. And when is it supposed to be done? Uh, in the next few days, hopefully by the 27th before Thanksgiving. If not, I'll be here until it's done. Matsu, when did you get here? You just flew in from New York, right? Right, so I had to um, orchestrate this remotely from New York um, because I had other projects uh, that was involved. Um, but the mirror has been started about nine days ago. Yeah. And uh, so you haven't been here to supervise uh, the painting of the, of the mural, correct? I haven't, but it's this digital era. There's lots of other ways of doing it, which is using social media, getting uh, photos approved. Uh, I have enough kind of experience to remotely get these things properly. So with this one, this is a sketch that you're actually looking at. I made sure all the colors are corrected before they get started on it. It's not like somebody who come here and start this freestyle. I made sure that every color is precise to the original sketch that I sent. Um, the shape is pounce, meaning it's completely uh, ratio-wise accurate transferred and then it goes by like color by numbers. Um, and uh, the team, painter team here has a complete best formula to do this done in a way that I want it to be done, so yeah. Oh good, and the, the hope is that it will be done by Wednesday. I hope so. Before the rains come. I know, before, yes. right? yeah, yeah. I heard the forecast says the Wednesday gonna be a little bad and then it goes a little down yeah. on the weather. Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to be th Thanksgiving day and, mm -hmm. and the day before are supposed to be kind of rainy. And you also need to put a covering on yeah. this, right? So tell us about that. Well, it's a covering that any this anything, if you want to have it last for a long time, it needs to be covered. Also for graffiti purposes, 
houses as well. Um, you know, graffiti is everywhere, so... Even in Beverly Hills. Yeah, so <laughs> A, to code it so it lasts longer as, as, as accurate as it's completed. And secondly, it's to kind of uh, cover the surface from graffiti, from weather, from sand, anything, from uh, dust. Yeah. And that's supposed to happen on Wednesday. I think so. Well, that could be latter um, because the paint itself is pretty strong already. It's enamel paint, oil paint. Um, but ideally speaking, everybody wants to do that in one go right. and get it done. And now the there will be a, an official unveiling of the mural. Is that yes, correct? Yes, I think so. I think so on in mid-January. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll talk with you then. Yeah, please. Thanks please again. come by. Thanks again.